let's connect Power Automate Cloud with Power Automate Desktop. Here I have Power Automate Cloud, which can be found at make.powerautomate.com. First, we need to do a setup. I wanted to run on this machine, but it will be the same setup on each of the machines that you want to run your on. So here I click Windows Start, and then I search for Machine Runtime or Power Automate Machine Runtime and open it. If you don't have it, you can reinstall Power Automate Desktop and enable that in Settings. If you don't see you can enable it during setup, that's because you have Windows Home, you need to upgrade to Windows Pro. Then I pick my environment. This will be the Power Platform environment that I want this machine to run in. I can go with my default, which is this, or simply just take the Anders Jensen org demo Anders US. Then you will see that this will connect the environment. And when I go to Power Automate Cloud, this environment needs to be the same. That will be this one up here. Also keep in mind that when you build desktop flows, they, they will only be able to run from this environment when you set it up like this. If I go back here, I can see that we are now connected. The name is Desktop Anders, and here I have my environment. If I want to choose change this, I can click Edit Details, and instead of Desktop Anders, I could call it something else. I think it's good. You can now close the machine runtime and go back to Ultimate Cloud. Now we will make the connection. Just go hit Create, and we will just choose an instant cloud flow, but it will, of course, works in any flow that you specify a triggered flow or a scheduled flow as well. I will have a manual trigger and the action you want to find. Plus, that is run a flow built with Power Automate Desktop. We'll click that. Here we can give it a name. This is just to identify the machine. I will call this one PC. I can connect with username and passwords. I want to do that if it's an unattended setup, but here I will just go with the in. I can pick a machine and we have our newly created machine. Just click sign in and then a pop up will appear where we need to specify our account. I will go with this. Then it will take like 15 seconds. And while it does that, please like the video if you find this helpful. Now I can specify a desktop flow. Just pick one of your desktop. For example, I want to run the programmatic SEO Azure AI Foundry. I will specify that I need to run it attended the license I have. And now you have set everything up. That's how easy it is. Watch this advanced Power Automate Desktop video next. See you there.